Welcome to another video by the Wimbledon Channel on Geography Skills. Today we'll be looking at Area Reference and Grid Reference. Put simply, these numbers help us identify exactly where something is on a map. Let's start with Area Reference. Here we have a stunningly detailed map. But how do we tell someone where A is as opposed to where B is? Well, we start by drawing some lines. The cartographer or map maker is going to make sure all those lines are equidistant. And we'll number them sequentially going from left to right or the numbers getting bigger the further east you get. And we'll do the exact same thing with lines running from south to north. We'll call those vertical lines going in an easterly direction eastings and the lines running from south to north, northings. And whenever we're referring to these, the eastings always come before the northings. Just remember, it's in alphabetical order, E before M. Also, we count the area based on whichever set of coordinates, or eastings and northings, are on the bottom left of the square. And so, when we're setting out area reference, it should look like number three there. A R for area reference, then easting, easting, northing, northing. Let me explain a little bit further in a quick video. Alright, so let's say we're looking for the area reference of B. What we do to start with this is count across for the eastings, one and two. Then for the northings, start at the bottom and count up, one, two, three, etc, etc, up to nine. And so what we end up with is AR for area reference 0209 easting easting northing northing note that it's always seen in the bottom left of the area okay so we're looking at 0209 bottom left but what if we wanted something a bit more specific what about this little white dot here what if we wanted to know exactly where it was within that square well, we actually do the same thing again. We split up the area into 10 equal segments, with naught and 10 being the lines. And then we simply count, estimating roughly how many of those segments we have across. So for this one, if we were to do this in a very rough manner, we've used a ruler and we'd get roughly three eastings and I'd say four northings. And then, Rather than AR, we're going to put GR for grid reference. And then we'll do the area reference first. So 1, 3 here and 0, 07. So grid reference 1, 3, 3, 0, 7, 4. So that's area reference and grid reference. Any questions? Comment below. And don't forget to like and subscribe.